Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My presentation reflects on, the, on a pilot intervention which commenced in December 2013, facilitated by the Futures Group's Sexual HIV Prevention Program uh, as a means to increase condom availability in a rural and mostly poor health district within South Africa that required an urgent intervention to decrease the incidence of HIV. The capacity of small local community-based organizations was, de was developed to combine their local knowledge of the geographic area and its communities with that of, of participatory adult learning methods and GIS mapping approaches. As you are aware, uh, condom use remains a core sexual HIV prevention intervention globally. However, ensuring the quality, quantity, distribution, quant uh, continu continuity and equity of freely available condoms presents substantial challenges. Erratic and inequitable condom distribution, uh, particularly... Sorry. However, in ensuring the quality, quantity, uh, distribution, continuity, and equity of freely available condoms presents substantial challenges. Uh, erratic and inequitable, inequitable condom distribution, particularly in rural areas, results in poor uptake, inconsistent usage, and an unwillingness to adopt condoms as a primary STI prevention strategy. Furthermore, in the context of, of the country's health policy, the National Department of Health is the main provider of free choice branded male condoms and the FC2 type female condom in South Africa. Although this is good practice, condom distribution activities and coverage may, may be hindered in the event of supply chain challenges, ultimately depriving mainly poor and hard to reach communities from opportunities to engage in safe sex practices. Although the slide seems complex at first glance, it merely represents the male condom distribution rate by district, of which there are 52 across South Africa, with the main observation that distribution rates for male condoms across South Africa have been variable and erratic due to supply chain challenges, with a Gertzabande district rate at 19 condoms per male aged 15 years and above recorded during the 2012-13 financial year. The average distribution rate was 22 condoms in the same year. For the year 2013-14, the National Department of Health aims to increase the national distribution rate as a first year to an average of 36, and eventually by the year 2015 to 50 condoms per male. The third and last policy context point in, uh, is that the NDOH, with technical support provided by SHIP, drafted a national condom distribution plan in which it aims to supply 1 billion condoms annually, which at a national level translates into 50 condoms per male, as I've indicated in the previous slide. For your orientation, the pilot site is located in the eastern province of Mpumalanga, which is bordered by the main economic hub of South Africa in the west, the Gauteng province, and the international borders of both Mozambique and Swaziland in the east. As indicated, the pilot site of Gertzabande district presents the southern health district of the three districts that comprise the Mpumalanga province. The following slides describe the steps in the process uh, to firstly facilitate capacity building of stakeholders and secondly the actual mapping and plotting activity. As a first step, a relative complex geospatial analysis of HIV prevalence rates among pregnant women was conducted by SHIP to determine areas with low and high endemicity levels throughout the district. Areas with high endemicity are indicated in an orange-red color which were dubbed high transmission areas. The map, in turn, then uh, is used to plan mapping activities, uh, naturally focusing on these high transmission areas. The crosses represent the location of public health facilities, and the yellow pins are those areas identified as high transmission areas a year or so prior to SHIP's GIS analysis of those high transmission areas and more. 
In the following step, SHIP and health district authorities collaboratively reviewed the then current condom supply management and distribution system in the district. Findings of that process indicated poor condom supply, distribution coverage, monitoring, data flow, reporting, data analyses, and information sharing. The third step in the process was aimed at building the mapping capacity of South African government partners and community-based organizations to firstly know the HIV epidemic and the nature and extent of the epidemic responses in the district, and secondly, to map on paper the infrastructure, health and social services, hotspots and primary and potential secondary condom distribution points in their respective geographic areas of responsibility, which are termed small areas or wards. SHIP managed to capacitate district staff, staff of the seven local municipalities and 107 community-based organizations in mapping and plotting skills. Step four of the process focused on fieldwork, whereby the actual plotting of hotspots and potential secondary condom distribution points were done using handheld GPS devices and backing that up in the field with paper-based registers of all plotted sites. CBOs guided the process using their knowledge of the local area to rapidly locate sites and provide insight into the nature of identified sites. For persons later the specific areas, such as ship staff, it would have been impossible to know that some sites that were identified in daylight as a specific type of site, such as a hair salon, for instance, trans transforms at nighttime into, for example, a brothel. This knowledge was vital in the identification of hotspots in, in particular. As an output of step four, Several types of hotspots and infrastructure were identified and plotted with GPS devices. In, more, uh, a to in total, more than 1,000 potential secondary condom distribution points were identified, in addition to already existing primary condom distribution points. Step five, as the penultimate step, uh, EMAPs were created using uh, the stored GPS coordinates from the devices, as well as freeware geographic information system software applications for which SHIP provided the technical support. District staff, together with SHIP's technical officers, amended the existing condom distribution data collection tool, which was used by the condom warehouse and other primary distribution points to record the number of supplied condoms to secondary distribution points. Formulas were inserted in the Microsoft Excel program to create auto-calculating aggregated figures, firstly for male and female condoms separately, and secondly, for weekly, monthly, and quarterly data summaries, each on a separate sheet, but within one Microsoft Office Excel file. In summary, the entire mapping and plotting process is depicted in this slide, commencing with hand-drawn maps, after which digital technology is used in the field, of which the data from devices were used for generating e-maps in aid of planning condom distribution scale-up activities in an effort to detect a possible increase in male condom distribution rates in the district after completing the mapping and plotting activity in January 2014. I beg your pardon. In an effort to detect a possible increase in male condom, condom distribution rates in the district after completing the mapping and plotting activity in January, this graph fails to indicate an increase using the district health information system data. The reason for this non-increase is related to the condom distribution reporting system of some local municipalities, which has been lagging behind in implementing the revised condom distribution data collection tool of primary distribution points, as well as recurring condom supply chain challenges. However, some consistency is noted in the latter part of this graph when compared with the period prior to December 2013. As lessons learned, uh, we, we state that participatory approaches ensure that community-based organizations acquire in-depth understanding of mapping that is easily re replicable without the need of advanced additional technical support. Combining indigenous knowledge of, of community behavior with participatory approaches and GIS technology can fast-track the equitable condom distribution and coverage efforts, 
and in so doing, key populations such as rural communities could be reached given a sustained supply of condoms. Thank you.